Welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Piece of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So today I'm going to be doing a pearl pour with some texture over top. Um, and in this one um, here, I'm just going to show you quick my consistency. This is a pearl white by Deco Art. This is the base coat, so it does have satin enamel in it. And I will give you a different angle in a second to show you um, the consistency of these. This is just a cream. Uh, with no satin enamel. I made up with Titan Buff and some titanium white. So here you can see this is a very, very thin consistency. Um, it does leave an indent when the popsicle stick is held about an inch above the surface of the paint. Um, same with this, uh, same consistency, just very thin consistency. And so with this base coat, um, it was kind of a learning experience for me because typically with the um, Deco, Art, Deco Art Metallics, they are pretty light and they create pearls pretty easily. So um, on some of my previous paintings, uh, the ones that I use the obsidian and the black, those I did not need any satin enamel. In the base coat whereas with this one I put in satin enamel I did a test and it did nothing so then I had to go back in and I added more satin enamel into the recipe and that's when I finally got pearls so it's not always an exact science um, an exact measurement and you might have to uh, play around with it a little bit, especially if you're using paints that you are not familiar with, which I've never used this pearl white in my base before. So um, yeah, I definitely had to play around with it. Uh, this one I used for my recipe, three parts Floetrol, five parts bare satin enamel, two parts of the pearl white deco art paint and one and a half parts of the golden color pouring medium um, in that base. So you can kind of switch out the golden color pouring medium for the GAC 800 too in the base coat. That's fine. Uh, but that I use the color pouring medium in this one. And um, it definitely, this color of paint definitely needed more satin enamels than what I typically put in. I usually just put in two parts of the bare satin enamel in my recipe and I usually measure things out in parts. I usually go in kind of ounces because that's easier for me. But um, yeah, I usually get very consistent results because I do measure everything out. Uh, but on this one, it was definitely not a exact recipe that I needed to follow. So sometimes you just kind of have to play around with things. Um, I did really, I'm really excited about this one because I really love how it turned out. And I'm just excited about this technique. Um, I, I don't know if you guys are as excited about it as me. I, I know that you guys haven't seen a lot of different things from me lately um, that, I, that I used to do more often, um, but I'm just really enjoying this part of my journey right now. So I appreciate you guys liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell so you uh, get to see each painting or each one that I do, each video. Um, and I really do appreciate all the comments, questions. If anybody ever has any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm very happy to answer any questions. Uh, now this pour over color here that I just put in, it was a 
a mixture of my 50% Floetrol, 50% GAC 800 pouring medium. And then I added in fluid paint. So it's not, I don't have an exact measurement when I put in fluid paints. When I do the pour over, I just kind of go try to find the color that I want it to be. So, um, and with fluid paints, you don't need as much um, of the paint because it's so so much more pigmented. So I used the um, the liquid tri art in titanium white, and I um, mix that with the golden titan buff, and. Uh, that I just kind of came up with kind of a light creamy color that would sort of be more monotone with this pearl white that I used and I really like how it turned out now you'll see me doing some pretty extreme tilting here um, because you got to get that layer um, very thin on there and when I tilt extreme in one direction, I always tilt it back the other direction um, until I start seeing pearls all the way around, and that's when I'll stop. So I know on this one, it's really, really hard to see the pearls. I do do a time lapse here, so um, you'll start to see them uh, popping up around the edges, and then they'll start through the center as well. But um, I did speed through this pretty quick because I didn't want to bore you too much and let you guys watch grass grow here. But um, you can see all of the pearls that are starting to develop and they will continue to, to develop for uh, about 45 minutes, an hour. Um, so that's what you guys are seeing here now. Now here's the dry results and I apologize, one of my lights was not turned on during this part. So it's hard to kind of see, but you can see those pearls. And I did go in with a chalk, piece of chalk, and I kind of marked out the design that I wanted. And I kind of will play around with the chalk a little bit because it's easy, easily erased. And then, but you can see I'm kind of struggling here to see where that chalk mark is. So I just, I knew I needed to put in some darker lines. So I just got an ac acrylic marker out and put in the darker lines um, just as a guideline to follow so that I know where I want my design to be and where I do not want it to be. In case you weren't aware, I will be teaching this in Asheville and Dallas, Texas coming up with Fluid Art Experiences, so go check that out. Okay, so to share some of my tools here, this is my favorite little palette knife from Fluid dash art.co it is the number 32 um, I use the paper palettes there this is the extra heavy molding paste from golden it holds very stiff peaks so I love it and then I use this tri art liquid titanium white in the golden titan buff to create this color of the molding paste that I wanted um, I just kind of mixed until I kind of figured out you know found the color that would match what I already had on the canvas. Um, these bowls I get from the uh, Dollar Tree. I think they stack in like bowls of four. And then these um, silicone uh, little, uh, what are they called? Uh, not scrapers, uh, spatulas. Yes, uh, I get those at the Dollar Tree as well. They work really well for this technique because they're very easy to clean. Um, and so here you're, I'm going to show you how I gather the paint onto my palette knife or the, the molding paste onto the palette knife and then I scrape my edges. You kind of get it to a rounded um, look and then that is where you start placing. Now you place the, your palette knife down, you press down, pull back and up and then so that is your petals and so I just overlap these and kind of try to plan uh, my um, see I kind of have a little piece that I have to wipe off there um, but that happens just get yourself a paper towel and wipe that off but I try to plan how I'm gonna place these so that the design is going to look nice um, you kind of have to be paying attention 
uh, the whole time to what you want your final design to look like and it does take a little bit of time this one took me probably about four hours to do um, and it was I did take a break in the middle but you do need to work pretty quickly you'll see I only add in a little bit of the molding paste at a time because it will dry out uh, over um, the time that you're working with it so you do need to kind of work a little quicker and use smaller amounts so that it doesn't dry out and you don't end up with like crusty um, bits on your palette knife and you can take a break uh, in between but you don't want to wait too long to where it's no longer soft to be able to press into the other petals so here is the final design I hope you like it as much as I do. I just love how this one turned out. You see those um, very soft, subtle pearls in the middle. You get a little bit more on the edges, so you just get that kind of that design, and then these petals just look beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, it will be for sale at the Fluid Art Experience, unless it sells beforehand unless someone wants it but i will be bringing it to the food art experience so that you all can see in person so thank you guys for watching appreciate you all and i will see you guys on the next one